Welcome to this Windows channel and today we're going to talk about why you should actually move to Windows 10 and also do you have to do it on July 29th or afterwards. So this really is the reasons why basically you should move on to Windows 10. First of all, one of the great, great uh, things why it should be this, the case that you move to Windows 10 is because it's free. That is really something that I think is really interesting. You know, for the first time we have free upgrade to Windows 10. And no, don't listen to everybody that says, yeah, yeah, after one year it's going to be, it's not going to be free, you're going to have to pay for it. No, it's free always. Okay, if you get the free version, you'll have it free, it's going to stay free, you'll be able to, able to reinstall it as many times as you want free. So don't listen to anybody that says, no, apparently it's not going to be free after a year. It's free if you get it free. And it stays free if you got it free. That is very clear and Microsoft has been extremely clear and is trying to even make it clearer because it understands that everybody's messed up in the way of thinking with this. So you got it free, you'll have it free for as long as you want. Why should you go to Windows 10? Well, like all versions of an operating system, there are improvements. One of the main reasons, security. Windows 10, once again, has more security options. It's more secure than Windows 8, than Windows 7, than Windows XP. You know, the people that stay in very old versions, like those still using Windows XP, don't understand one key thing about the operating system, is that security evolves. Security really gets better with time. Why? Because the security needs of an operating system in 2015 are not the same ones that were in 20, you know, in tw 2005 or 2000. Uh, more and more bad guys, more and more bad things out there. So you need an operating system that's more secure. And Windows 10 does offer that in the way that it works. Also, 64-bit operating systems are more secure in general also. So that's another reason. Also, um, you know, new Windows versions come with some advantages over its predecessors uh, in the form of functional improvements. All sorts of new little details that make your life easier. You know, in Windows 10, I understand that people get scared of upgrading because they went to Windows 8.1 or Windows 8 and it's changed the way that they actually use a computer. So people get scared a little bit of, you know, the upgrade process. But one thing for sure, Windows 10 really improves upon the usability of your operating system and of your computer. If you are on Windows 8.1, I think pretty much everybody on Windows 8.1 needs to go to Windows 10. Um, I think that's something that I am really, really, um, you know, convinced that you should do so. But there's a little thing here. Remember that Windows 10 is an evolving operating system. That means that your Windows 10 will have constant upgrades. It will be improved with time. So maybe you don't need it right away, July 29th. And that would be a safe thing to do. You wait and you get it a few months later, maybe, you know, as long as you get it in the first year from release date. So you'll have it free from July 29th up to July of 2016. So you got a year. You don't have to rush things. And that's something that's important to do. And that is also something that I think is better. The reasons to upgrade also go with, you know, the fact that the operating system has uh, a number of improvements on speed as new features like DirectX 12 for gamers. So there's a lot of things that, you know, push Windows 10 into uh, something positive, something that's pretty cool to use. And, um, you know, I think if Microsoft does it right, that's one of the main reasons why you should upgrade. 
Also, the fact that Windows 10 is an operating system that is now kind of a one operating system for everything. You know, universal apps. Uh, the improved Windows Store is another reason. There's a lot of stuff in Windows 10 that's very interesting. And I think that is worth the upgrade. I think it's a good idea, especially if you're on Windows 8.1. So what you know you should do is just check that out and don't rush anything. You don't have to get it on July 29th. You can wait. I'll be posting a lot of videos on my channel about the upgrade process, about how well it goes after the upgrade process from Windows 7, from Windows 8. And, you know, it's going to be an interesting thing. And, you know, with all of the videos that I post, what you'll see of people around you, well, it's going to give you an idea that maybe it's time to upgrade. Maybe not. If you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, anything about the upgrade process, about Windows 10, about Windows 8, go ahead, try to you know, ask your question. Maybe somebody will answer. Maybe I will answer. Maybe we'll make a video and help you with that. So these are all possibilities. So I hope that uh, everybody enjoys the videos and we'll come back to this channel.